you are watching my channel Dad, Daddy's Artistic Daughter. Since uh, Teacher's Day is coming soon, today my tutorial is very much related to it, as you can already see. But before moving on, I would like to thank all of you for making this channel a family of 100 members now. Welcome to my channel and I am indebted to you all. For today's tutorial, here are all what I will be needing. Glue, pen, pencil with a small eraser on top. Ruler, thread, die cut out with handwritten sentiment on it. Hand drawn feather, style cut out. These are my two papers. Ink, ink blending tool, a pair of scissors and this is my glitter pen. So let's begin. So here are my two cardstock. One is white and one is black. The white one measures 13 by 9 cm. Whereas the black measures 14 by 10 centimeters. So this is my rule which I follow in making card. The base one will always be one centimeter more in both the sides. So that's make my card perfect. This is the thumb rule. And here is my feather cutout. This is free hand drawn. And then I have cut it with my with the help of my scissors. So I will be giving uh, the link of the template uh, in the description box. Now the feather I will be cutting the big one. I have here two uh, feathers. And I will be using these two feathers only in my card. I don't want this pencil mark so I will be erasing all the marks by the help of my eraser. Two of my feathers are ready. Now I will be applying colors on it. So I will be using archival ink. These are the distress ink. And this is, this pack is new. So I will be using, I will be opening it today and using it for the first time. Let's see how it goes. This color I really like. This is crushed olive. Actually, I bought this pack because of this color. This color I didn't have. And I am a very fond of green color. So, this I totally liked. This is crushed olive. This is villainous potion. This one is salvaged patina. And this is crackling campfire. So these are my four colors which I will be using and uh, giving color to my feathers. And this is my ink blending tool. This is also very new to me. This is the first time I will be using. I do not know how it is going to work. Uh, let's try and see. Oh, wow, this is so cool. It has a small tiny cap on top and the brush is really nice. I'm all set for coloring now. So maybe I'll go with this one first.
thanks to my loving husband who has sponsored these colors and the ink daubers. Uh, sometimes all you need is just to show gratitude towards the people you love. That's all you need. This is, uh, both the colors are uh, light in shade. So I will be giving some deep shade to blend it well. Maybe a little bit of uh, portion. feather is ready and it is looking like this so a little bit coloring I uh, need to do to fill up the gap here I can see a little bit of white now I just need to blend it well The same I will be doing with this one also. The same technique, just taking the colors and blending. After coloring, the feathers are looking like this and I am very happy with the outcome. The colors have blended very well, very nicely. Uh, so here I have used only two colors. Uh, that is my a crackling campfire and the olive green so these two are the colors which I have used in the smallest one now I will be adding the feathers onto the top layer of my card maybe now taking this two together like this I will be adding some blue I haven't done any coloring at the back because anyway the back will be attached and it will not be visible Now I will be using my thread for a little bit of decoration maybe, I'm not sure where to put it, let's see, or maybe I'll just, I'll just tie. For something like this, uh, when you are working uh, with a very uh, tiny, small portion, blue dots are work very well. But I am um, right now do not have I do not have any blue dot right now. So from next time onwards, I'll try to use blue dots instead of uh, blue. I'm 
to be above. As you can see, it is handwritten and while I was writing, I just wanted to make sure that my lines are straight and, my, uh, and the alphabets are in proper space. So I just use some uh, pencil marking, some lines, so which I will be, I thought that probably I will be erasing it afterwards, but then I thought that, no, let it be like this. So it gives a nice uh, page theme. It looks like a page and uh, it seems like I have cut it from a, from a paper, from a page. So I will let it be like this and I will be using it over here. to see the straight line yeah so in this card the only dimension is uh, this sentiment here I have used some double-sided foam tape to use my sentiment as you can see here now this I will be attaching at the back of my uh, uh, front of my black card stock paper And my card is ready. My card is ready. Um, only thing I will be needing is I will be adding some glitter and my feathers. Little bit of brushing here and there. This is the glitter, this is a transparent glitter one. I will be adding glitters at the edges only and not the inside. This is from Wink of Stella. This is a very, very nice glitter pen. It gives a very nice shimmery shine. Hope you can see the glittery effect. Yes, it can be seen, it is visible. Once it dries up completely, it is even more visible. I have used a stamping sentiment out of this black ink. This is also distressing. And I have used this paper, this is nine, uh, 13 by 9 centimeter. This is actually a paper from my paper pad. Uh, since it has a nice color tone, I thought of using it so it will be blending well with my colorful feather thing. 
so it makes my project complete for the day hope you have enjoyed my video if you have liked my video please do like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching see you soon